Hello, Mark Russell here. Eye blades from Ping. I'm really looking forward to hitting these actually because I'm a blade player now. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these compare. They're looking lovely. Let's get stuck in. Right, so if we look at the set, it's a gorgeous looking set of irons. The three iron next to no offset, um, a tiny bit of offset, six iron less to none, and then the wedge also none as well. Kind of got this nice, um, almost white satiny finish. There's not going to be no glare in the eye blades. It's a beautiful looking club, pretty thin soles, and very bladey looking from the top. Um, we get this activated elastoma, they're saying, in the back, which is going to make the face, um, allows them to make it nice and thin. It's going to cause a bit of dampening behind the shot, so you do get that feel, they're saying, I guess, of the more kind of forged club. Now, I don't think this club is forged. I think it is a cast club. It certainly hasn't got forged written anywhere on it, but they're going to try and make the sound, that feeling as you strike it with that, feel more like a forged club. So Ping are delivering forgiveness where you need it, they're saying. In each one of the irons, you get a tungsten weight out towards the toe. That's going to spread that MOI nicely. So when you're hitting it on different parts of the face, you're going to get some even ball speeds across the face, which is what you're going to need in an iron like this. We're also getting thinner faces on the eye blades across the set, which is going to help with ball speeds as well. And you're also getting relief in the sole. They're making the sole kind of as tall friendly as they like. Similar to S55, I think. A um, little bit of relief in the heel. You can see where they're trying to relieve it at the front as well. That kind of turf interaction, which is what all good players are kind of after, is what they say, really. Um, right, if we hit the wedge to start us off, down by the ball, looks beautiful. Very glide wedges looking in its appearance, it looks to me. I love the finish. Let's see how it feels off the face. I mean, that does feel like a bladed iron. It also feels like when I say that, I mean a forged iron. You know, it feels soft. It feels lovely. Let's give it another hit. Yeah, I'm loving the feel of that. It is a great looking wedge, that. Very, very appealing. Now, I've got some real ball data coming at you with the Chrome Softs I'm now gaming with GC2, which we'll show you in a second, where I've hit six iron and three iron to show you some numbers. Six iron down by the ball. It's a lovely little squat head design, thin top line. I love the fact that Ping put the white lineup line on the bottom as well. I really like that. Nice thin soles. This is a beautiful looking iron. Let's give it a hit. Yeah, I mean, it... It makes that sound to make you feel like you are playing more of that forged better player club. When it comes to blades as well, the top line is thin, but there's quite a lot of help down at the back, which I'm quite liking. I do feel like this is kind of as close as I've seen to giving the best of both worlds, really. Let's give it another hit. Yeah, that's lovely. And a gorgeous sound. I'm really quite taken aback with these, actually. They're very, very nice. Let's give this free iron hit. I'm totally not a free iron player. Let's see what I can get out of this. I mean, it, this looks frightening to me. Fin top liners, as you'd expect. Not much offset next to no offset. Uh, yeah, not enough club down there for my kind of uh, speeds and what have you, which is why I use hybrids. But let's give it a go. Hit that one well, just leaking it a bit to the right, which is always going to be my issue with a three iron. Give it one more hit. Again, it's that same sound and feel. I, I think if you're in the ping market and you've always wanted something a bit more classic looking, a bit, a bit prettier, well, they've nailed it with these ones. They are looking gorgeous. Get that one better, a bit more on target as well. Now, I've got some real numbers captured with these. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Um, yeah, they look fantastic. Eye blade is looking really, really good. So looking at some of the numbers, eye blade six iron to start. I was carrying it 166 average, topping out at 171, which is a good hit for a six iron for me. Peaking height at 35 yards, which is where I'd want that peak height to be. Spinning at 5.4, so averaging spinning at 5.4, top spin 5.8, dropping down to 4.7 on the first one, which I must have got maybe in a toe, slightly high area. Um, they're very good numbers for me. I'm not the highest spinning uh, player in the world, certainly with irons, so that's why I'm enjoying blades at the moment in the ones I use and why those, I think, could fit into my game really, really easily. If we go to the 3 iron, 198 average carry and topping out at 202, which is good for me. That's carry on a 3 iron. All these numbers are carry, no rollout. 
Spinning at 3,500, again, not a bad spin number for me with a three iron. Uh, peaking height at 26, which is why, again, I use uh, a hybrid because I would want that to go a little higher. I can keep a hybrid down there, but I hit the three iron more just to show you how it looks like and my feelings on it. I would never buy a three iron in this set. That's, again, why you need to go and get custom fit to see what numbers you can get with the different numbers, ideally, and see if it fits in or a hybrid or something might do better for you. They're good numbers, as I would expect. The thing that's really striking me with these clubs is it's a ping. It feels almost as good as anything forged I've hit, and I'm a big fan of a forged manufacturer. Um, and they look as good as anything I think ping have ever brought out, really. So this kind of bracket of iron for players, it's about looks. Good players want it to look a certain way, and even golfers looking at this kind of set, you don't even have to be a good player, want it to look a certain way, it does. They want it to feel a certain way, absolutely does. But they also want some solid data behind it as well, which they're producing. I am impressed with the eye blade. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.